<laughs> What's up guys? Okay, um, AMA7 here. Ray Hillstone asks, uh, hey Seth, saw your... I'm currently a WordPress slash web developer, mainly using PHP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript. I want to accelerate my learning curve. Do you have a good list of coding books that you'd recommend reading? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So the question is a little ambiguous because you don't really say uh, what exactly uh, you wanted to, um, what language you wanted to learn exactly. So I got a bunch of them. All right, I'm just gonna start here. If you want to learn Ruby, this is a really good book for learning Ruby. Uh, if you want to learn Rails, at least. Um, which I would assume you would. <laughs> but if you want to learn uh, Rails and some Ruby along the way, this is what you want to learn. Um, this is really good if you just want to learn object-oriented programming in general, like if you're new to object-oriented programming. Um, I know PHP is coming around to that now. I'm not really that familiar with PHP to be honest with you, but um, this is a really amazing book that, and it's like, it's small. You, you run right through this thing. And um, it's really good. And I also use this textbook for actually like honing in my, my root my ruby um and getting it down like this is an actual textbook where you go through the examples and the exercises <sighs> if you want to learn java i really enjoyed this textbook this was um basically what we use for my advanced java course and i ended up just keeping the textbook and just paying the hundred whatever dollars for it, which <sighs> but i mean this is a good book and i literally went through every single chapter of this book um there's online chapters as well and um, just did the examples, did everything like that. My my advice for learning any programming language um, is to go to like a, a treehouse or a code academy, like an online boot camp, and just do one of their like tracks or whatever to learn to get like an overall like general idea of that language. Um, it's patchy when you do it that way, so then you want to go through like an actual textbook and learn the rest of it. So you want to like get the, the general idea, but then you want to go through a textbook and go through, uh, do the examples as you go. You want to um, do the exercises. Like I always say, do all do like all the examples if you need to, and then when you get to the end of the chapter, there's usually like easy, medium, hard, whatever exa uh, exercises. Make sure you can do at least the medium one before you move on. Uh, I usually say do try a medium and a hard. Also another good textbook if you want to learn Java. If you want to stay with JavaScript, these two are amazing. This one's really good. This one's really well known. This is a great book for just learning how to code in general and commenting your code and, and format. This is a book that I think every single programmer should read regardless of language. But yeah, those are some books. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. 